This the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 30, verse 15. Right. See, I have set before thee this day. The Lord had did what? I have set before thee this day. Right. Life and good. The what? The what? Life and good. So the Lord said, I have set before you this day life and good. Right? What is life according to the Bible? Give me that in uh, Baruch 4 and 1. The Lord said, I have set before you this day life and good. What is that life that the Lord has set, uh, uh, has set uh, upon us? Right? Let's find out. Give me that in Baruch 4 and 1. The book of Baruch, chapter 4, verse 1. Right? This is the book of the commandments of God. What are these scriptures? This is the book of the commandments of God. So these are the, this is the book of the commandments of God. Read on. And the law. And the what? And the law. And the what? And the law. Read. That endureth forever. That endureth forever. Right? Read on. All they that keep it. All they that do what? All they that keep it. All they that keep it. Read on. Shall come to life. Shall do what? Shall come to life. Shall do what? Shall come to life. So the Lord said, all they that keep these laws and commandments shall come to life. So the Lord said, I have set before you this day life and good. Right? So that life that the Lord has set in front of us is these laws and commandments. When are you so-called Black Hispanics and Native Americans go come back and take hold of your heritage? And take hold of these commandments that the Lord only gave to the nation of Israel. Read on. And death and evil. And what? Death and evil. And death and evil. What is death and evil? Read that off and uh, finish that off in, uh, in, in Baruch. But such as leave it. But such as do what? Such as leave it. So such as leave these laws and commandments shall what? Shall die. Shall what? Shall die. Shall what? Shall die. Shall die. Shall die. So finish, read that now. What's, what's going on, brother? What's going on, bro? Y'all allow questions? No, my bad. You say you got a question? I said, yeah, do y'all allow questions? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, definitely, yeah. Okay, boss, man, appreciate it, appreciate uh -huh. it. Um, so in a nutshell, mm -hmm. uh, the children of Israel went to captivity okay. from disobedience. Right. The question is, where did he scatter them to? What did he scatter them to? Where did he scatter them? The Israelites? Yeah. Give me that in uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 64. Give me uh give me that in James one. You already know what I want, James. Okay. That's a good question though, right? We go Very we go we go go into the scriptures. You got that? Uh yeah, twenty eight and sixty four. Read that. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter twenty eight, verse sixty four. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. Shall do what? Shall scatter thee among all people. Among what? Among all people. Right. Read on. From one end of the earth. From what? From one end of the earth. Right. Even unto the other. So to answer your question, the Lord scattered the Israelites to the four corners of the earth among all nations. Because okay. when you look at the, because uh, one of the curses, the Lord said he go put us in slavery on slave ships. Right. During the transatlantic slave trade and, and, and uh, all the other slave trades, we were scattered into the all different nations. Right. Okay. You got our people, uh, we scattered in Africa. You got our people living in uh, Europe, right? You got our people in America. We scattered all over throughout the world, you know? You know? From one end of the earth, uh -huh. even to the other. Right. And there that, thou shalt... That's, that's it on that. Read what you got in James. The book of James, chapter 1, verse 1. James, a servant of God uh -huh. and of the Lord Jesus Christ. Right. To the twelve tribes... Uh -huh. Which are scattered abroad. Which are what? Which are scattered abroad. So we have been scattered abroad upon the whole face of the earth. So you have Israelites in every nation. Every, every single country that you go to, you're going to have Israelites there. So do that. Do that answer your question? Right. So, so, so they, it's allegory. So they, hey, man, if you want to deal, come deal. It's allegory. Now, nah, look, let's let them go past. Madness, Okay, we talk, we talk right now. Yeah. We talk, we talk. I don't like the interruption. Right, right. So, so in a nutshell, they were scattered throughout all the earth. Right. And the question that I have is how does this line, specifically the chart, mm -hmm. with all the earth? So if, so if I deal with the CD tribe over in India, mm -hmm. or if I find them in South Africa mm -hmm. or Russia, 
how do I juxtapose that with the chart? Are you talking about with the uh, 12 tribe chart? Yes, sir. Uh, with the, get the basis on that. This is not this chart right here is not based off the whole world. Right. This is just based off the Western Hemisphere. Right. So then, so is there for those that went to the East mm -hmm. uh, uh, African slave trade or the Zanzibar or the Arab slave trade? Mm -hmm. Are we able to map tribes to those that went to the East or mm -hmm. to the Northern Roman slave trade in the Mediterranean? Well, wherever wherever part of the world that you live in. Right, you might have, uh, I know brothers that's in Africa, they got uh, tribes, charts that line up with different tribes in Africa. Uh, or wherever, uh, I know some brothers that live in the UK, they got uh, different charts that line up with right. where the Israelites would be over there on that side of the earth. But like I said, dealing with this chart, okay. this is just a basis to uh, for the Western Hemisphere. Because okay, when you read it into the biblical prophecy, the Lord said the majority uh, majority of us, due to the transatlantic slave trade, uh -huh. uh, will be in, in the Western Hemisphere. So here's a question, though. Uh -huh. If the southern kingdom of Judah mm -hmm. was escorted out to slavery by the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, mm -hmm. and that's who went down into Africa and was dispersed off the west coast of Africa into the Americas and into various locations, mm -hmm. then when the northern kingdom was taken down mm -hmm. in 2 Kings 17 right. by the hand of the Assyrians, right. Then how could they be the ones that's in the slave trade if they were taken out before the Southern Kingdom was taken out? What, you, what do you mean, honest, in the slave? Yeah, listen. Um, when you read about the Northern Kingdoms, the Northern Kingdoms, right, right. okay, they were actually over here, okay, before Judah, okay, Levi, and the rest of the tribes, uh -huh. okay, they were already over here. You ever read a book called Before Columbus? And the Bible backs up. You know, the Bible actually backs up everything as well too. You had already seven. You had already nine and a half tribes already in the Americas before, uh -huh. you know, uh, Judah, Levi, and the uh -huh. Benjamites, which are the West Indians, which it, but before they came over here. Uh -huh. Okay, the bulk, okay, of the Negroes, West Indian, and the Levites, they were sold, okay, during the time of King Dahomey, okay, uh -huh. which you just mentioned. Dahomey. You know, right, there you go, right, out of Southwest Africa. Uh -huh. You're absolutely correct over there. That's what the transatlantic slave trade was all about. Right. You're right. But the rest of our brothers were already over here that were scattered throughout Brazil, Argentina. Okay, have you ever heard of the, um, like a lot of our people when they go to Mexico today, they see the works of the Mayans. There you go, there you go brother, there you go. They were already over here, okay, prior, okay, before we came over here. During the time of the diaspora, okay, that's when it was wars against the Israelite tribes during the time of Solomon, that's when we split up. And we came over here, okay, to the Americas. Uh -huh. So you say that they came over to the Americas at the time when Solomon Yes, split. absolutely. Before, During the time of the diaspora. Before Jeroboam and Rehoboam went with their separate portions of the tribe? Right, most of them, yes sir. So, so then when the, when the prophet ripped the 12 garments and gave them to Jeroboam at that right. time, and said, now you have 10 tribes on 10 pieces. Right. And then they went to go worship the calf at Bethlehem when at dead. At that time, how could they be at dead worshiping the golden calves and being in the mirror? Right, but you got to understand, you, you got to understand, everybody didn't, everybody, you had some that stayed. Okay, but you did have the majority of them that did come over here. Just like you got a lot of Negroes that's still in Australia today. You got some Israelites that's still in Australia today. You got some Israelites that's still in Russia today. Everybody didn't come. You still had residue of people that's still there as well, too. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. so, so now okay. when, the, when, gotcha. they get, when they get pulled back to go home, <laughs> gotcha. or are they or saved to be brought home, right. does that mean that they have obtained their last life the moment Right. That's a good question. The most I, the most I says this. What's your name? Jerry, okay, Jerry, we on first name basis, Jared, right. Jerry, like Genesis chapter 5, verse uh -huh. 10 and 22. Okay, all right, brother. It, it means shall descend. Okay. Because it's a prophecy about the Lord. Right, that right. descending, coming in the flesh in Genesis chapter 5. Good, all good. All praises, King. We, we can respect that. Okay, let me say this too. The Mosai says that when the deliverance come, okay, we're going to be delivered out of what? The four corners of the what? There you go. Right. That's the answer to your question right there, brother. Okay. Right, the four corners because we're scattered, right. okay, right. through the four corners of the earth. Let me just read this one scripture, okay, and I knew he was going to second Ezra. Go ahead and read it real slow. This is the book of second Ezra, uh -huh. chapter 13, verse 40. And I'm going to give it back to the young man. I don't want to take up his time. Go ahead. Though, those are the ten tribes which were carried away prisoners there you go. out of their own land in right. the time of Osea, right. the king who... Salomonasser, the king of Assyria, 
led away captive, and he carried them over the waters. And so they came, sorry, and so came they unto another land. Right. You can stop right there, right. And that was during the time of the diaspora. And, you know, you're, you're a very smart brother, okay? And I'm pretty sure the terms, you know, the terms diaspora, that's something that doesn't sound foreign to you. When you read about the diaspora, okay, same thing, man. Come on, stop playing, okay? When you read about that, okay, it tells you specifically exactly how the scriptures back this up. The ten and a half tribes came over because we always left a half a tribe of Levi because they were considered the priests. They kept us in order. They kept us in line. That's why during the time of the transatlantic slave trade, during the time of King Dahomey down in southwest Africa, it was a tribe of Judah. Benjamin and half the tribe of Levi that was came over here to America. Okay, everybody else was scattered through North, Central, and South America through um, Panama, Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, Brazil, Argentina. That's where you got South America. That's where you get the Americas from because they was over here prior to that. Or what they call Latin America because they were under There you go, brother. There you go. There you go. I'm Including the North American Indians as well too. They was they were settled down in Florida before our brothers like had came over here in Manhattan. There you go, brother. There you go, black feet. So in, in short, if all the twelve tribes are coming back home and they'll be gathered from all the four winds of heaven. Right. The, according to the Bible. Right. right. According to the Bible. Huh. The Bible. That's right. When they're brought back home, have they at that time received everlasting life? When Ezekiel 37, he grabs this one stick for Judah and his companions. And he from his companions right. and make them one stick in his hand. Once they're brought back, they have everlasting life. If we return back to the Most High. Okay, because some of the, it says it in the Bible that some people are going to be left here, right here in America, to burn also mm -hmm. in this third world's war as well, too. Yeah, well, we can read that the six trophies that they arm again, they go to kings of the east, going to go across the Euphrates. Absolutely. Absolutely. So that's definitely going to happen. Absolutely, brother. But the very moment, because when we left, when we left Egypt, right? Uh -huh. Right, and hey, you're not too far, off, brother. You notice I'm agreeing with what you're saying. You're not too far, off, brother. Let right. Me say it's a film set. Right, right, right. It's an intelligent I'm... conversation. We listen. Let me say right. this too, Jerry. We can respect. We 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 respect this, man. Right. Okay, because it's not that often that you have intelligent people that come before us, and you don't know as much as you do. This is an intelligent conversation that we're having, and it's very, very. It holds a lot of weight. Okay, because most of the time when people come up to us, they, you know, they're shucking each other and yeah, they're yeah, around. You can't yeah, learn yeah, like that. Yeah. It's very, right. right. What you're saying is they're correct. They're very defensive, but I give all glory. You absolutely, know, you know, absolutely, he, brother. He, he's the one that puts in that wisdom. So the only thing I was just trying to say is, uh -huh. because the one thing that I really want for me and my family, right. and even if we was in the land like David and Solomon, right. I want them to live forever. Absolutely, King. Because we even have Solomon, he reigned over the earth from Jerusalem. Right. But he's not with us to this day because he had that glitch right. called death. Right, absolutely. So I want to figure out how do I get around death. Mm -hmm. So if I keep the commandments, which I think is a good thing to do, I don't want to be around people that That's lie, life. cheer, steal, That is the only thing to do. Kill. I think that the Sabbath day should be honored and remembered to be holy. Right, absolutely, Jerry. Let me read, let me, let me read something to you go real ahead, quick, go Jerry. Ahead, go ahead. Okay, get Ecclesiastes 12 and 12 in the Bible okay. real quick. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, you can save that for Yahshua because I got to split. Okay, save that for Yahshua and give me Deuteronomy, the 12th chapter, the 12th verse real quick. And Jerry, this is what I want you to remember before I leave. Okay, and I want you to stick around too for these brothers. They're going to edify you on a level that you, you know, brother, very intelligent brother. They're going to edify you further. Give me Ecclesiastes, the 12th chapter, start the 12th verse, King. Come on now. Stay with me. It was Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, verse 12. And further, by these, my son, be admonished of making many books. Yeah, you got a lot of books out here, man. Okay, other than the Bible. You got people that go to the library all day long and study a lot of stuff they shouldn't study other than the Bible. Every history book just backs up the Bible. That's all it does because what the Bible is not only a spiritual book and a way of life and it tells you how to live, okay, but it's also a historical book that tells you about the past, the present, and the future. You know that, Brother Jerry. I respect that. Go ahead. Of making many books. So the most I said this, Jerry, he said, be aware of the making of many books. Okay, because a lot of times you can read the Bible. Hey, Shalom, uh, my beat. Because you can meet, because you can read the Bible, okay, and then you have other books that's out here that may just throw you off right, okay, right. of your course. Right. So the most I said this, he said, be aware, brother Jerry. Go ahead. There is no end. Most I said it ain't no end. 
It ain't no end, man. Okay, but there's only one book you're supposed to learn from. Me, myself, right. I'm an author. Okay, I've written seven books. Right. Okay, but the books that I've written, okay, always back up. The Bible backs up, okay, what my historical books are saying. I don't pull nothing out of a rabbit's hat. Right. Every book I've ever written is based off of these scriptures and historical scriptures. Go ahead, King. And much study uh -huh. is, a, is a weariness of the flesh. The most I said this, Brother Jerry, much study is weariness of the flesh. Right. Meaning you, you, you can't study too much and you can't go above right. your head. You understand what I'm trying to say? You can't study too much. You got to stick with one thing. You got to stick with basics. Right. Because if you're studying over here, you're over here, you're studying Greek philosophy, you're studying, right. you know, the, the Talmuds, the and you're over here, you're studying yeah. the Egyptology, yeah. Book of the Dead, you're yeah. over here. You're going to get confused, yeah. man. Yeah. Okay, go ahead, King. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. The most I said, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter, which you just asked, Brother Jerry. Go ahead. Fear the most high. You're supposed to fear the Lord. And, okay, you're supposed to stop right yep. there. You're supposed to fear the most high. That's number one. That's beginning of knowledge. There you go. The most I said, fear him, that right. man that wakes you up every day. Not the damn white man. You understand what I'm trying to say? Because he's fallible. He's gone straight into perdition. Go ahead. And keep his commandments. Oh, read it again and do what? And keep his commandments. Most I said, we don't got a choice in that, Brother Jerry. It ain't no if, it ain't no I want to, it ain't no, you know, I, that, that's a good thing. No, the Most I said, keep his commandments. You have to keep the commandments of the Heavenly Father. That brings you into the light and life as well, to everlasting life. Go ahead. For this is the whole duty of man. There you go, Brother Jerry. The Most I said, this is the whole okay. duty of man. Now, now, now I got to ask you a question. Uh, yeah, hey, one more. I'm going to bring you over to this brother right here. Yeah, uh-huh. The whole duty of man is to fear God and keep his commandments. According to the Bible, we just read. Amen. Correct. That's right. And then the question is, what is the whole duty of Israel according to Acts chapter 19? Well, you can, well, look, you can. The whole duty of Israel. Deuteronomy 28 chapter, okay? No, 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 can, no, 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 no. I'm saying according to Exodus 19. All right, we can what get that. the whole duty of Israel? It's the same thing. Go ahead, pick verse 5. It's the same it, Listen. It's the same thing to keep the commandments because when you read, listen, when you read Deuteronomy because we didn't keep the commandments, guess what happened, Brother Jerry? Look at, right, there you go. Right, right, right. That is our duty, right. And we fell. And on top of this happening, right. you had various religions that came out from Roman Catholicism, the Protestant movement that came out from right. Right. So that's that's spot on. Right. But can we read verse five? Yeah, you can. Hey, listen, okay. one of y'all handle him. I got the boogie. Okay. okay. Come on. This is Exodus 19 and 5. Okay. Now, therefore, if you will obey my voice indeed okay. and keep my covenant, keep the covenant, then you shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people, for all the earth is mine. That's right. And you shall be unto me a kingdom of priests. A kingdom of what? Priests. Of what? A priest. Not Roman Catholics? No. So, so the real priest is Israel. That's right. Now, the question that I have hold is. On, hold on. We'll we'll go go finish, and a holy nation. Right. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. Amen. So the children of Israel are called the priests, a king or priest unto him. Now we know in Sunday church we would say we ain't supposed to be preachers to the choir. I'm speaking to you, you speaking to me, I'm speaking to you, you speaking to me. We gotta go out right, in the head right, and the right, highways right, and go get the people, right? Yes, yes, yes. So the, 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 right, that's that's where the question is. Now I subscribe to the belief that the people we are bringing to come under obedience is anyone that has been born under the sons of Adam. So, so anyone under the son of Adam. Oh, so so what do you get? What what scripture in the Bible do you get that understanding from? So so, so we can start with going to Luke chapter one, where you can see that the Lord was one. We get several. I got I got Luke one. You got the oh oh man. Hey, hey, hey. Can so, I start at verse 68? So you, what, 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 what do you want to loot that, that says that? So we're seeing that, yes, he's going to bring redemption to his people, right? Uh -huh. Now that's Israel, right? Can, bro, can I read it? Oh, oh, well, I'm trying to get his understanding of what we're going. So, we're, okay. so you said, okay. where are you trying to go with this? Like, so what, what I'm saying is that I believe that mm -hmm. every single one that has, has ever been born mm -hmm. is a people that he has created. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean that they ain't covenant with him. Mm -hmm. You got to come under the covenant because Jeremiah 31 says that he made a covenant with thousands of Israel, with thousands of Jews. Right, a new covenant. Right, that new covenant. Right. So when he made that covenant with them, mm -hmm. That means now they have a job to do because he told Israel to occupy till I come. Mm -hmm. And then question, what did Pharaoh ask about Jacob? He said, what is your occupation? 
Jonah, he said, what is your occupation? But, but, that's what I'm saying. So what, well, uh, how do our nations come into that? Where, how do our nations come into that? Excellent question. Mm -hmm. So where did Luke, you said Luke, where did Luke? Let me tell you a second. You know how the book says to the Jew and then to the Gentile? Okay, so let me ask you a question right there. Right, right. Who is the Gentile? And Can somebody go to there? Right, 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 right. Who, who are the Gentiles that it's talking about? So I'm just I'm highlighting where we will Okay, but I'm asking you, so who, who are the can we have in order to answer the question, we have to right. get understanding on right. that. So it says the Jew and the or who in that context, who are the Gentiles? That right there is speaking of people that are not part of the household of Israel. Okay. Now we do know. Okay, we, so can, can, can we show you that oh, we know that it is talking oh, about people oh, that said it? Let, let, let me bring a little bit more out. Okay, go ahead. There are instances in the Bible where it's alluding to at times to Israel. Mm -hmm. We can see sometimes in the Bible that it speaks about the stranger kind of alluding to Israel at times as well. Okay. Uh, so I'm not, I'm not negating act like that's not there. Right. However, when, when I read. Uh, Ezekiel chapter 12 mm -hmm. he says when we go in all the countries where we've been scattered mm -hmm. he said he because he's going to leave a few back from the sword from the plague from the famine and when we get there we're going to tell them all our abominations and they shall believe that oh he is the Lord okay but I'm, I, I'm asking you right because you right? So we stand on this topic about the Gentiles, though. So, right, right, right. what scripture do you, what so, scripture say that about the Jews and the so, Gentiles? So what I'm saying is, can I, somebody read that in the Bible dictionary? Then we go go to that scripture. Right. So this is the definition of Gentile, right? Because because so, so like because some people think when they say Gentile, that's automatically talking about the other nations. So hold on, hold on. So, so let's let's, let's get that. Right. So, so the name the word Gentile is nation or people. Mm -hmm. usually, usually. Oh wait wait. Usually. So, brother, let me ask you, what does the word usually mean? At times. At times. At time. So, it says Gentile, it usually means... Yeah, you got to go into the context, but it says usually uh -huh. it means a non-Israelite people. Right. Right? Under conditions of peace, considerate treatment was according uh, Gentiles by the Israelites under the OT law. Right. Right. Now so, now, let's, let's go to this, because you said that somehow every nation is involved in this. So... What scripture do you get that every nation is involved? Because you said the Jew and the Gentile. Right. So you want to go to that, the no, Jew and the Gentile? No, no, well, real quick, real quick, real uh -huh. quick, because I think you're missing one little point I'm trying to make. Mm -hmm. When he said to the Jew and to the Gentile, Gentile does not mean all nations. That's a misnomer. Because Gentile uh, uh, is speaking about what Genesis 10 says, the sons of Japheth. Now watch this. Watch this. Watch this. I don't want to be able to get my Because y'all got the mics. Right, but I'm trying to I'm trying to get to the base of your point because you say you believe right. that all mankind that's born of Adam can can inherit. Will you say inherit the covenant? Is that what you saying? What, what, what I'm saying is that they can follow the same commandments that God gave to Israel. Okay. Because remember, He already said He said, and the same strange that sojourn with thee okay. at times that they could have a city of refuge. But but, but okay. does that mean that every nation gets salvation though? Well, well, this is where. People don't understand that there's two different salvations. Okay, what is? I'll, I'll, I'll give you an example. Uh, give, just, just, just let me get a little bit. We're trying to bring the scriptures out. I, I, I'm, about, I'm about to bring it out. Okay, let's go to Job. Because okay, let's, hold on. Can we get this little point? Go ahead. Yeah, go well, 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 I, I, I'm gonna come to that in a second. Let's go to Jew. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So this, this is what I'm saying. So, okay, we bouncing around. I know. So you said you you said okay. So you saying that every nation can get salvation. So I said there's two different. Okay, what are the two different salvations? Let's see one mm -hmm. in the book of Jude. Okay, go Let's ahead. Let's see one. All right, bring out Jude. All right. Right. Can you go ahead and pick it up at verse five? Yes. Jude one and five. Yes. No, no, no. Jude, Jude one and five. Okay. Okay. Jude. All right. Jude one and five. This is the book of Jude, chapter 1, verse number 5. Right? It says, I will therefore put you in remembrance, though ye once knew this, right. how that the Lord, having saved the people, having what? Having saved the people, what saved which people? Israelites. Okay, we, we, we agree. Go ahead. Out of the land of Egypt, right. afterward destroyed them that believe not. Afterward what? Afterward, destroy it, then that believe not. Oh, because a lot of people don't understand that one of the pieces of salvation means rescue. We were rescued. Right. And Romans 11 says, all Israel shall be saved, right? right. I believe that. All Israel shall 
be rescued. But hold on, all Israel, hold on. All Israel not even going to be saved. Romans 11 tells you all Israel shall be saved, meaning rescue. Can we, get, what, what, can, we go, can we go to that? Let's read Romans 11. Uh, let's go to that. So, so wait a minute. But, but you, have to let, you, have, you have to let me put it Yeah, can you, so what does that mean? Because we were showing that that's one type of salvation, one type of being saved, okay. Okay. which we were actually rescued. Right. But being rescued did not stop us from dying both the first nor the second. Can I ask you a question? When you say we, you would consider yourself an Israelite? Yes, indeed. Okay, all praises. Bloodline. Okay. Not, not some, you know, no, bloodline. So no spiritual right. Israel. No, 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 no. no, no. Is, there any, is there anything, like, does that, does that exist? Is there a well, you see people that, like you said, the Ezra, they said they became so Jews. They were trying to follow after what the Jews were doing. But they're not spiritual Israelites, right? Nothing spiritual. So I'll put it like this. Because I hear some of that conversation, but the main thing that I'm seeing here is about who died the physical death. And it was still us that died physically. Our ancestors' bones are still in Saudi Arabia in the ground. Okay, can we, can, so what I'm saying, so you trying to, basically you saying that the Gentiles get a salvation. That's what you're saying. What I'm saying that there's two different salvations. But but you keep but you at first you brought up the Gentiles. Yes. So the Gentiles got, get salvation. That's what you're saying. I got three scriptures for you. Can I get? Three? But I'm, we try, let me ask you. So are you saying that the Gentiles are getting salvation? That's what you're saying. They salvation from what? What's up from what? No, I'm asking you. That's what I'm saying. I'm trying to. I'm trying to get. Okay. I'm trying to get where you. Where you. You have yes, to make sir. your plan. Yes, sir. Yes. We. We. We be sitting here all day trying to understand right. what you. And the, and the whole reason I'm having this conversation mm -hmm. is because I have great faith that the priest of God should be able to see this better than anybody else. I'm trying. To, I'm trying to get him to right. state his plan. So, so you. So hold on, brother. Brother. Let's make. Let's play, Let's. Let's put it all on the table right now. We're trying to understand what you. So you said the Gentiles can get salvation. Is that what you're saying? There's a different salvation yes. between the Israelites and the Gentiles. So what so you said that the, the Gentiles get a salvation. That's what you're saying. Yes, yes or no? And yes, yes, okay. Yes, okay. yes, and what kind? Ask me what kind. What kind? Okay, what kind? Go, go ahead. From death. From death? Yeah, what is it? Let's, can we go read the prophecy? Do you believe the prophecy? Yeah, we believe okay. this whole Bible. Okay. okay, that's why I'm like we, we at least can agree that. So you saying the Gentiles get salvation from death? From death. Okay, can you? Now, now watch this. Mm -hmm. If I go to Psalms 90, mm -hmm. we're going to see that our age goes up to about 8, 70, maybe 80, right? Mm -hmm. We keep running to that gap last So season. let me ask you this real quick. So do all the Gentiles get salvation from death? Not all. However, however, mm -hmm. everyone will be raised up before judgment day. So what I'm saying is. Salvation from death. What is it? What does that mean? You have to go into the scripture and show you. Absolutely. Okay. Fair enough. So, did you want to hit that Romans 11 first before we get jumped in? Now we want to get to the base okay, of your point. So let's let's okay, find. Fair enough. Let's go to Isaiah 25. All right. Let's go to Isaiah 25. Yeah. Right, we gonna slow. I, I want to see where this goes. Because we know in Psalm right chapter 90 mm -hmm. that we have a glass right ceiling now. when it comes up to death. Mm -hmm. We go about 78, now they start dropping off. Mm -hmm. By the time you get the AARP car, you drop in the grave. Mm -hmm. But here, mm -hmm. in Isaiah 25, mm -hmm. because, mm -hmm. the, and the only reason why I'm saying that, brothers, mm -hmm. like I said, is because we aren't the only ones around. Okay, so let's, let's read that scripture, Isaiah, Isaiah 25. Isaiah 25. Uh -huh. Are y'all a congregation? Okay. Can church? we hear verse 7? Yeah. What's the name of y'all church? The Israel of God. The Israel of God. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. But, 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 uh, but do y'all see that we actually is going more building than trying to... No, I agree about that. Right, right, right. Because at some points it's like, yeah, hey, they right, they right, they right. But I'm just highlighting where it's like, oh, let's take a look at this thing a little bit closer. Isaiah 25. Mm -hmm. And pick it up at verse 6, because this is right. what they call the messianic verse, verse 6. All right. This is Isaiah 25 and 6. And in the mountain. In this mountain. In this, sorry. My bad. My bad. In, in this mountain shall the Lord of hosts make unto all people a feast of fat things. A feast of fat things. Go ahead. A feast of wine. A feast of wine. On the leaves of fat things. Uh-huh. Full of marrow. Full of marrow. Go ahead. Of wines uh -huh. and on the leaves well refined. So. We know that this ain't talking physical food. We're talking, I'm going to give y'all something to really eat up here. Verse 7. But what he's going to do in verse 7? And he will destroy in the mountains. He's going to destroy in this mountain the what? The face of the covering cast over all people. Cast over what? All people. The covering 
cast over everybody, mm -hmm. and everybody is in the hospitals, everybody's in the graveyards, everybody's in car accidents. And it says, and the veil that is spread over all nations. And the veil, this is a veil spread over everyone. Now, brother, in 1 Corinthians 15, can we see what this veil is talking about? 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter. Can I finish yeah, verse 8? Yes, go okay. ahead, go ahead. He will swallow up death and victory. Yes, indeed. And the Lord God will wipe away tears from all of all faces. Right. And the rebuke of his people. people yes, indeed. Shall, shall he take away from off all the earth. Indeed. So Israel not going to be under the curses at that time when he come back, according to verse 8. Spot on. So but who is the for, people is talking about? Well, for, 6, 7, and 8. Well, the problem is, verse 7, he said the veil that spread over all nations. We need to see what the book, not me, mm -hmm. says with that veil. Can I, let me ask you something. Is there Israelites in all nations? That's what yes, there are. We right. scattered Luke 21, 24. We okay, scattered so, everywhere. Okay, so get that. But we, yeah, but, so, but, but, but we still need to see what the veil is because I agree that Israel is scattered. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. But, all right, but real quick. Go ahead, boss. So when we go on to 6, 7, and then the 8, it tells you who the his people is the whole right. time. Right. It's telling you, it's talking about his people, Israelites. Uh -huh. And we, like he was asking, we're scattered amongst all nations. Well, here's a question. If all nations, do we, so we don't believe that the all nations is all nations. It's going to tell seven, you right here. It verse, says he will swallow up death and victory. Right and the, Yep. And the Lord God will wipe. Hold on. Let me finish. And the Lord God will wipe away tears from off all the faces. And the rebuke of his people yes. shall he take away from off all the earth. For the Lord has spoken, and who yes, is God's people? Now, God's people is still Israel. That's unchanged. So now, watch this. Context, well, what I'm saying. That listen, 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 hold on. What we're saying is that context is talking about the so Israelites. So, watch this. The all, see, you getting tripped up because you think the all nations is talking about every nation. So if I but that all nations, when we go into that, is I talking about the Israelites because the Israelites are scattered into all saying. nations. So and question. we could go into the scriptures and, sh and show you that. All right, go so ahead. According to verse 3, mm -hmm. is, is verse 3 speaking about Israel? In the same chapter? Same spot. All right, let's start at one. Right. Oh, Lord, thou art my God. I will that's, exalt no, thee. That's not verse three. I'm, I'm mm -hmm. starting at one. Mm -hmm. we go oh, my, my, my bad, my bad, my bad. Go ahead. Go ahead. I will praise thy name. Yes, indeed. For thou hast done wonderful things. Of course. Thy counsels of old are faithfulness uh -huh. and truth. Right. For thou hast made a city in heat. That's it. Of a defense city, a ruin. Right. What city is that? Right. What city is that? So he gonna, he gonna still protect Jerusalem. So, so who lives in Jerusalem? Right now? No, not us. No, at this time when Isaiah wrote this, this scripture. Well, this is prophecy. It's prophecy but I'm saying, who's, the future, right? right? But who's living in this scripture? Who's this, living this, in this Jerusalem? Is, this is who does Jerusalem represent? This, I know who Jerusalem represents. It represents Israel. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, right, no, cool. that, that's understood. It says, it says, a palace of strangers right. to, be a, a, to be no city. Uh-huh. It shall never be built. Right. What, what does that mean? Right, so it's not going to be a palace where it's just a bunch of strangers in our land that we not in the land. Mm -hmm. In other words, we going back home. We get that. Okay. E Look, Elam already understands that he tried to get rid of us so he can take our name. Uh, but verse 3. Verse 3. Therefore shall the strong people glorify thee. Uh -huh. The city of the terrible nations shall fear thee. So who's the city of the terrible nations? Uh, you tell us. That is speaking of other people okay. that are not Israelites. They gonna learn to fear him because he gonna because vengeance is his. Yeah, but wait, so, wait, hold on. Go ahead, go ahead. Let me build off this just a little bit. Mm -hmm. We agree that the Lord gonna give bring vengeance. We agree there. Right. I'm just saying that according to what we read in Hebrews, level it names various people. Boom, boom, mm -hmm. boom, boom, Hall boom. Of boom. Of faith. Hall of Fame of Faith. Yeah. But someone else is mentioned in that chapter. Who's That's that? Okay. Does so, that mean she gets out? Is that all nations get salvation? Well, the question is, does she? What's her payment for hiding the spies, Joshua and Cain? What's yeah, her payment? But but so, this is what you gotta understand. Uh huh. Rahab is an individual, uh -huh. right? Are you good, brother? Uh -huh. Rahab's an Rahab's an individual. Uh huh. So she was spared, but right. that doesn't mean that all nations I, get salvation. I agree, she was spared. We agree. We we eye to eye, she was spared. Right. Now, but it tells us in Hebrews eleven that they had a good report, but they received not the promise. So if they didn't receive nothing. You mean she just hurt the spies and didn't get nothing for it? No, but well, you, you, it, it, hold on, you missing what I'm saying, brother. So I'm, listen. I'm gonna throw this other curveball. Hold on, hold on, hold on, because we, 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 I know, mic. brother, but we, you've been talking, you've been talking a lot. Let's bring it up. Fair enough. So we not, we don't disagree. We, we understand that all nations 
gonna have to fear the Lord. All nations gonna have to obey the Lord. Right. Give me that uh, Isaiah two and two. Yeah, they we gotta, understand that. We, we so, but hold on. But the, the thing is, we talking about salvation, right? Because uh, right Wait, now, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. So salvation is not for every nation. And we're going to go through that salvation. too. Oh, it's only one salvation. Only one. Are you saying it's only, brother, brother, brother. Okay. Salvation of getting the kingdom of heaven. Hold on, brother, brother, brother. Hold on, let me let me go. Go ahead. Go the ahead. rulership of the kingdom of heaven is only for one nation of people. So Jerusalem we don't we don't disagree with you that every nation go fear the Lord and every nation go follow the Israelites and keep God's commandments. We're not disagreeing with that. So let's read that. This is Isaiah 2 and 2. Uh -huh. And it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's so house the mountain of the Lord's house represents the kingdom of Israel. So you know shall be established shall be what established and that's a future prophecy because yes, as of right now we're not established that's right so when christ make his second coming we're going to be established as a nation yes, you know in the top of the mountains right in the top of the mountains that means you listening brother yeah, go, go, so when, the, when it's read that again from the top it says and it shall come to pass in uh -huh. the last days right that the mountain of the Lord's house right. shall be established uh -huh. in the top of the mountain. So it means the nation of Israel will be on top of yeah, all the other they, nations. They all right, you know? right, right. And shall be exalted uh -huh. above. above the hills. Yep. Right, you know? And all nations shall and wait, flow and unto what? it. And all nations so shall flow So that's talking about all the other nations shall flow unto yeah. the children they of Israel, you know? Him, that's a right, you know? We're going to go with you because we heard that the Lord is with you. Yes. Right, that's right, you know? Yeah, yeah. I, I, think, I think we got a lot of uh, understanding. Right. right. But let me ask you, I'm going to read it. Do you believe there's like other nations will be co-heirs with Israel in the kingdom? According to Proverbs 17, verse yeah. 2, that's all I can read. All right, what's the question? What's the answer? Though? The answer is, he says that they shall also obtain, obtain some of the inheritance. In Ezekiel 47, he said, when you give Israel their lives, you also going to a portion, give a portion to the stranger but brother, also. Let me ask you something. I, can, I can't get around I that. Just, no, but we just said that Israel would be on, on the top mountain of all other mountains. Yeah. What do those mountains represent? Those governments. Governments so of other it, nations, I, right? I agree that Israel... So how can there be cold air if Israel's at the top and all the other nations uh, are going to okay. follow under us? Right. So excellent, let's, 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 hold on. Uh, excellent question. Uh, excellent question. And I, and, and, I, and I see where you're coming from. Mm -hmm. Because of what the Lord showed Israel back in Exodus 12. This is what I'm seeing. Can we go read that? Oh, let's, 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 let's finish verse 3. Okay. All right, we'll get to your scripture. All right, this is verse 3. And many people shall go and say, mm -hmm. come and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord. But right. who is the mountain of the Lord? That's the Lord. But, but who is that mountain? That's the Lord. But well, who is the mountain? Oh. The mountain of the Lord. Who is that mountain? So, so you can read, you can point that to being Israel. However, what I, when I'm saying the mountain, when we read about that stone that hit that uh, uh, that statue on the feet, that's and it said that stone right? became the no, this, no, that stone represents the Lord. This Deuteronomy right thirty-two says but, he's on rock. But right, but who is that? That's Christ is coming, right? As yeah. that rock. Right, right, right. Right now, who is who is this church, which is the rock? Israel. That's the bride. Okay, been so the bride. so Christ is coming with Israelites to destroy that 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 statue, right? Okay, cool. So these are Israelites, not all nations with Christ. So. This is finished, I, 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 I see what, I see, I see. You see what I'm saying? Okay, yeah, then it yeah. says, uh, and many people, verse 3, and many people shall go and say, come, yea, and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, right. to the house of God of Jacob, right. yeah. to the house of God of Jacob, yeah. and he will, that's Israelites, yeah. and he will teach us of his ways. Right, like you said, like when you're talking talk. about, right, yeah. right, I understand yeah. that. Yeah. You're not denying that. Right. But well, we're going to show you something, you know. And we will walk in his paths, right. for out of Zion, shall go forth the law right. and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem and he shall judge among the nations he shall do what? judge among the nations he shall, well, we're going to be equal and he shall judge among the nations we're going to be coerced and he shall judge among the so nations we going to judge among the nations we know and shall rebuke many people and shall yeah. do what? rebuke many, many people shall rebuke many people yeah. you know? and they shall beat their swords into plowshares uh -huh. real quick no more. what's a plowshare? Right. That, so they're not going to be doing their agriculture they're going to be trying to or, or their, their weaponry they're going to try to go back to uh, and they're uh, uh, gardening so, so who are they gardening for? Whoever still needs to eat. No, no. Gardening goes back to servitude. Okay. Right. So, so they're so going to be servants. You already know what that was. I know you got about a thousand precepts. <laughs> you got about a thousand precepts. I got you. 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 But who, when, when I take my sword and turn it into a plowshare, the plowshare is used for gardening. 
Right. That's that's labor. Right. Okay. So they're going to be doing labor. We, we can even see that they can be doing continual employment, looking for dead bones that come out the ground. So, okay. I, I so hold on, brother, about. brother. So how does that? What well, I'm saying, we're, there's no, there's, it's, it's not getting nowhere. These other nations, right? These other nations are not going to be equal to the Israelites. They don't get salvation, right? They, that, that's not scripture. Hold on, let's go. Give me that in Isaiah. Hold on, we go. We trying to, brother, brother, hold on, we trying to bring these scriptures out. No, you go, no, wait, no, brother, brother, hold on. Uh, did you finish that? Nah, All right, nah. go, ahead, go ahead. It says, and they shall beat their swords into plowshares uh -huh. and their spears into pruning hooks. Right. Nations shall not lift up sword against nation, mm -hmm. neither shall they learn war anymore. O house of Jacob, yep. come ye and let us walk in the light of the Lord. Right, right. now, let me get Psalm 149 what, 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 and verse 5. The light of the Lord. What, what's that light? I, I can the show law. it to you. It's the, let the, me show the, the, you. Law, the law and the what? I'm, no, I'm, I'm going to show, go show you. Proverbs 6 and 23 gives you the definition of the law. Right. For the commandment is a lamp, mm -hmm. and the law is light. Right. And reproofs of instruction are the way of life. Amen. Right. So the Amen. light is the law. Well, but we can't leave out Isaiah 8 and 20. And right, but not. That's what I'm saying. We, right, that's, that's what I'm saying. Well, I'm, we, in other words, I'm saying on. the full book. Well, that's, that's what, what I'm saying. saying. But we're going somewhere else. We're trying to show you. We're well, trying to. I'm, I'm still trying to mm -hmm. give a response to something. Y'all got to be fair. But, no, I'm trying it, to, brother. We, but we, I haven't got none of the scriptures yet. Well, we're trying I to bring the scriptures. I haven't put for this guy. I made a voice reference. Well, I know, I know. So let's let's show you though, because you you believe. Hold on. You said you believe that the other nations will be co heirs in the kingdom. Well, did we, and we you never said they get salvation. Right. I called it. Y'all don't know when they But what was that? You said Proverbs what? It was Proverbs 17, verse 2. All right, I did. But I uh, wanted to also focus on mm -hmm. uh, Exodus chapter 12 when he said, if you want to dare touch this Passover, mm -hmm. you got to teach the strangers that this, they got to do this. And when they do this, they shall be as one. Hold on, hold on. Real quick. But, but this Proverbs 17 and 2 does not say co heirs. Well, can we read it? I'm going to read it. Can we read it? I'm going to read it. This right. is Proverbs 17. I'm going to start at 1. Right. Better is a dry morsel. A quietness therewith, then in a house full of sacrifice with strife. Right. Okay, what does that mean? Let me turn there because I may have caught, caught the wrong spot. Because that, that, that was 17. You said 17 and 2. Okay. Proverbs 17 and 2. That, that's not. That's not Proverbs 17 and 2. That was verse 1. No, I, I'm, I'm, I'm reading 1 down okay, to 2. Okay, so we got to go to verse 1 first. Gosh, okay, I so thought that is, was 2. I'm like, that was not What like does two. verse 1 mean? I'm going to read it again. Better is a dry morsel and quietness therewith than a house full of sacrifice with strife. Right, what good is it to have all this riches and all these things and you still got a whole bunch of strife in your crib versus the one that may not have two pennies to put together but you got peace in his crib. That's, okay. That, that's a whole, that's something. We separate. Okay, let's get, two. let's get verse two. A wise servant. A wise what? Servant. They, they were servants. Go ahead. So did Israel have other Israelites as servants? They, at times we can read that too. Okay, cool. A wise servant shall have rule over a son. Over a what? A son. A son according to blood or something else. Sons are only considered by blood. Go ahead. A son is only considered by blood? Yes. What do you mean by that? So if I have a child, that's my son. So Israel is not the blood of, of God? Paul no, called, I'm not saying Paul that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, Paul did call Timothy a son, right? Right, right. But that's not, he's not speaking of as far as adoption in this instance. This son okay. is talking about you How do you know that? Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, because remember what he said about so hold on, so, what, what we say about Isaac. So, he's the son of the So you cousin. said so you said our servants hold on hold on. Oh, oh, you trying to say hold on this is gonna cut. So you no, I'm trying to ask you, so you saying the servants let, let cut me, you yeah, said hold on, hold on, hold on, no, no, no. <laughs> we ain't even gonna say that. Hold on, hold on, brother, brother, brother. You said the servants so when they say uh the servants, you saying our servants gonna be Hold on, yeah, read that again. Read, yeah, read that. Okay, yeah. so he's saying this is co-heirship right here. Right. Verse 2. A wise servant shall have rule over a son uh -huh. that causes shame and shall have part of the inheritance among the brethren. Uh -huh. Right. So who's the brethren? Israel. No, we know that. brother, listen. We're, we, but where is this saying that this is talking about end times and other nations are in but getting Oh, That's why I'm saying, hold on, because hold on, if we, can we show you in the scriptures otherwise that these other nations are not going to be co heirs, even though they're going to be our servants, they're not going to be co heirs. Right. That's what we're trying to get to. This is so where, give me that in, uh, so when it comes read to what me, you got. Uh, hold on, hold on, I don't know about people, but, read when, that. but hold on, but when it comes to me, uh -huh. one thing that I agree with, uh -huh. Israel is going to reign in the kingdom, bloodline, mm -hmm. Israel has all, according to Romans, let me get, they, let me get Psalm 2 or 9. Read what you got, let talk. No, yeah, man, go ahead and talk. We just call it. Yeah, okay, we just okay. get scared. But but it's like y'all got the the microphones and the speakers. 
So it's like drowning. No, you're out. Right, you're good. So like, all bro. I'm saying is, mm -hmm. according to Romans 9, mm -hmm. we did a whole bunch of things given unto Israel. Right. I'm not taking a drop of that away. We were right. appointed to do this work. Mm -hmm. We were called the priests. I agree with all that. The one thing that I'm trying to say is, mm -hmm. I believe that we were commissioned to teach the other people mm -hmm. how to follow this God of Israel mm -hmm. in order for them to get over that glitch that happened in the Garden of Eden, which is death. But this is the thing, we don't, like yeah, I said, like I said, saying. we don't disagree with that. Okay. But when you talk about all these other nations getting salvation and being co heirs that's not in the scripture. So, so you're talking about... You, you, you talk about teaching the other nations on how to keep. We just read that in Isaiah two and two. Well, let me ask but you this hold on, way. hold on, hold on. Let me ask you this way. You what do you feel is the reward of someone that is not an Israelite but that wants to follow? Hold on, hold on. So say that again. You said what's the reward of somebody that's not an Israelite? Right. That's that's trying. That actually follows and does what he says. That, that's all I'm gonna ask. All right. I got the reward. Read that. Go ahead. The book of Isaiah chapter fourteen, verse right. one. Right. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob uh -huh. and will yet choose Israel you got that and set on. them in their own land right. and the strangers right. shall be joined with them. So we don't right. disagree with you like we read in Isaiah 2 and 2. We have to show these, these other nations eventually they're going to have to do the same things we do as far okay. as keeping the law. Right. Which, so, which line of which Deuteronomy 31? Okay. It shows that they so, got to keep the law. They right. gotta, one law shall be... You're not, you, you're not wrong about that, but as right, far right. as co heirs and right. them being equal to us in the kingdom, uh, that's not scripture. Uh, Let's finish that. Uh, Let's finish okay, that. Finish it off, finish it off. Right. And, and the strangers uh -huh. shall be joined with them. So the strangers, the other nations, yeah. going to be joined with the Israelites in the kingdom, right? Read and on. they got to do oh, servitude in that world. Right, right. And they right. shall cleave to the house of Jacob. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them. So if I possess you, right. do that mean I'm equal to you? No, no, not, not in this system. All right, so we don't. No. I'm going to show one last thing. Hold on, hold on. Right. And the house of Israel shall possess them mm -hmm. in the land of the Lord right. for servants and handmaids, mm -hmm. and they shall That's take them too. captives. And they shall do what? They shall take them captives. And they shall be equals. They shall take them captives. They will be co-heirs. Captives. Right. Who's captives they were. And when you look at history, we was captives to these other nations, right? Right, right. So were we co heirs in the in the uh when we was in slavery? No. So how did how are these other nations gonna Excellent. be co co heirs and aren't so read on, finish that. And they shall rule. Now we're gonna be equal. Rule. And they get salvation. Rule. Rule, read on. Over their oppressors. So we're gonna rule over our oppressors. Read that in Psalm 2 and 9. Oh, it's Psalms 2 and 9. Right. Thou shalt break them with a rod yeah. of iron. What are we gonna do to these other nations? Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Now we're gonna be co heirs. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. And they get their own salvation. Thou shalt break them with a rod of so iron. So, brother, is salvation getting broken by the rod of iron? Is that salvation? We don't. And thou shalt dash them in pieces. <laughs> we gonna do what? Dash them in pieces. No, they they gonna be coerced. And thou shalt dash them in pieces. No, they get salvation. And thou shalt dash them in pieces. So we gonna dash them in pieces. We don't. Like a potter's vessel. Like a potter's vessel. Same so let me get uh, Psalm one forty nine and let me get verse five. Go ahead. And I just want to bring this out with, as well. This is uh, going to the gospel. Isaiah 61, verse 4, uh -huh. and they shall build the old waste, right. and they shall raise up the former desolations, mm -hmm. and they shall repair the waste cities, right. the desolations of many generations, and strangers shall stand and flee mm -hmm. your flocks, right. and the sons of the alien shall be your plowmen and vine dressers, right. but ye shall be named the priests of the Lord. Like right. you just said, we are the priests of the Lord, right? Uh, men shall call you ministers of your God. And ye shall eat the riches of the Gentiles. Now we're going to do what? Eat the riches of the Gentiles. Now we're going to be co heirs. And ye shall eat the riches of the Gentiles. Right, because the Gentiles, they ate the riches of our people. Right? And in right. their glory shall ye boast yourselves. Right. right. For your shame ye shall have double. Right. And for confusion they shall rejoice in their portion. Uh -huh. Therefore, in their land. They shall possess the double, everlasting joy be unto them. Right, so they're going to be in captivity. So let me get that in Psalm 114. I know that, but but there's no such thing as them. It, hold on, unless, you, unless you're trying to say them being in slavery is their salvation, if that's what you're saying, so read that. Read that. Hold on, let's read this last one. I got you. Let's read this. Let's read this. We're going to get you. Let's read this. 
Psalm 149. Psalm 147.19. 149. Verse 1. Verse 5. Verse 5. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Who are the saints according to the Bible? There's times that it's referring to Israel. The Israelites, right? You know, come. It says, let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Right. Let the high praise of God be in their mouth. Uh -huh. And a two-edged sword in their hand. Right. To execute vengeance. To do what? Execute vengeance uh -huh. upon the heathen. Upon the what? Upon right. the heathen. So the, the Lord said the Israelites go execute vengeance upon these other nations. We don't. And punishments upon the people. And what? Punishments upon the people. Try to get salvation. Punishments upon the so people. So we have to execute vengeance and punishments upon these nations. We don't. To bind their kings with chains. Right. And their nobles with fetters of iron. Yep. Right. To exec execute upon them the judgment written, this honor have all his saints. Praise ye the Lord. All right, so go ahead. What you got, brother? Okay, thank you for that. Mm -hmm. I understand completely mm -hmm. that when he comes back, mm -hmm. when the Israel, flesh and blood Israel, bloodline will have rulership, mm -hmm. but they are still flesh and blood. This is the one thing, I'll, I'll, please hear me out carefully with this one point, mm -hmm. that when he returns, not all Israel is going to stay flesh and blood. Some, because you know how it says in Daniel chapter 12, and they that be righteous and turning unto righteous shall shine as the brightness of the firmament. So what does that have to do with the heathens? I, I'm, 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 I'm trying to bring it out. Okay. It, you, I mean, this is a big concept. You have to give the plane a little bit of runway. Okay. You know what I'm saying? To get off the ground. That's all what right. I'm saying. All right, go ahead. So in short, uh, there's mm. going to be those of us that were Israel mm. that now have a completely new body. You see the example that was given with uh, uh, um, Moses? His face starts to beam, right? But hold up, how come the Christ showed us him in Matthew 17? It wasn't just his face beaming, his whole body yeah, changed. Yeah, the, the scriptures talk about us having spiritual uh, body. Yes, you understand yes. That? Yep. So, so, so with that, that's the only point I'm trying to lay. Mm -hmm. That if anyone has obtained a new body, mm -hmm. they don't need anyone to serve them food to wait on them hand and foot. Those are the people that are gonna reign on the thrones of David. What you're referencing in those verses are the people that, or even Israel, that may have missed the first resurrection. So there's going to be, when the Lord returns, there will be those that have immortality, shine as the brightness of the firmament, mm -hmm. and there will be those that still flesh and blood, that still need to eat, need to get a wife to have children, right. So you're speaking of those that are still on the earth, which mm -hmm. every single verse you read, I verify, and I say, praise ye the Lord. Mm -hmm. But the ones that caught that upgrade at the seventh trumpet, that's when, right, because it talks about the seventh trumpet, all through Revelation. So mm -hmm. when, mm -hmm. I'm going to hit this last part. Which, in Leviticus 23 with the feast days, it was teaching us this. Mm -hmm. He was trying to say that you are going to put off that tabernacle after seven days. Mm -hmm. No. It's, it, it's in uh, Leviticus 23. He said, so, put off the tabernacle. Well, well, what do you mean? So I'm connecting Leviticus 23 mm -hmm. when Peter said, For the Lord has shown me that I must put off this my tabernacle. In other words, my flesh and blood. Let's, let's go to it. Okay. Where you at? Let, 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 let's, uh, let's pull that first in Leviticus 23. Okay. Yep. Be because what, what I'm saying is, y'all. If y'all have a little patience, y'all might be able to hear, like, hear me for real. Yeah, we do, yeah. You real know quick, so? brother, let's just, let's just establish one thing. Everything we brought out, we went to book, chapter, I'm verse not, to I'm bring it out. So we require the same thing of you because you're, you're talking, yes, talking, talking. Yes, sir. But yes, we sir. can't get a reference you, point. You're absolutely correct, and I am bound by the law to show what is written. All you're praises, brother. Right. All praises. So, so a bunch of lip service don't mean nothing. All praises. And, I, and I, that's why I respectfully someone to bring up books. Mm -hmm. Leviticus 23. Mm -hmm. And can you go ahead and give me verse 34? Leviticus 23, 34, right? Uh, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, The fifteenth day of this month, of the seventh month, shall be the Feast of Tabernacles. Right. For seven days unto the Lord. Did right. you did you keep the tabernacles? Yes, we ate. Hey, hey, Passover, unleavened bread, all praises. Pentecost, all praises, all praises, all praises. And the eighth day. All, all praises. praises. Give him a hand. Hey, all good. On the first day. We love them things. We love the high Sabbath. Right. We love to come together right. and have a holy time. Right. Halloween, did y'all? Y'all catch Halloween? <laughs> <laughs> pumpkin off the porch. Oh, all praises. All praises. My mom praise. don't touch no kids. All and praise. she tell her friends, Halloween is pagan. Ain't no praise. trees coming in our house. 
and ain't no Easter eggs that we paint. I'll kick the kick. All right, that's good, brother. That's good, brother. All right. So I'm saying, with, with this edge, we can build. I just, this is one of the things. That's all. Yeah, that's all. Okay, yeah, yeah, today was the Sabbath day. Oh, well, till the sun go oh, down. Okay, all right. Till the sun go down, hey, it's the birthday. All right, there we go. You know what I'm saying? All right, let me say. No buying, no selling. I ain't dealing with my wife on that day. Keep myself holy. All right. On the first day shall be a holy convocation. Mm -hmm. You shall do no servile work therein. Right. Seven days you shall offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord. On the eighth day shall be a holy convocation unto you, and you shall offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord. Right. It is a solemn assembly, and you yep. shall do no servile work therein. Yes, indeed. How, where am I going so, with this? So what, what we're seeing here, the Feast of Tabernacles was seven days, and then you had the eighth day. Mm -hmm. Now, we know that around verse, like, 40, he says that you're supposed to set up bowls and sit under the booth for mm -hmm. seven days, right? Mm -hmm. But after the seven days in the booth, you're supposed to come out the booth. Mm -hmm. Because that was he was using those trees to teach us about our failed existence, but you come out the booth. Because tabernacles were seven days and the eighth day you come out. Okay. That, that's why Abraham, our forefather, was told to be circumcised all those in his household as soon as they hit eight days because I'm removing flesh. But but what, what the brother was trying to say uh -huh, is uh -huh. we trying to we trying to uh, deal with the main point. So yeah, yeah, yeah. you said we you talk about have, the, the, so, so the other verse, nations yes, yes. getting uh, that, that, that verse that he just that he just uh -huh. started. I just that's the foundation. Right. Of okay. Why okay. are you gonna bring out tabernacles? Tabernacle. I'm just okay, showing gotcha. that. Okay, okay gotcha. But, but now I'm going to I think it's Second Peter chapter says, one. Second Peter one. All yes, right. sir. Second Peter chapter one. And this is about the the other nations getting their salvation. Yes, this, this is showing that there is more than one salvation. So I showed y'all a little bit early in the book of Jude mm -hmm. that the children of Israel came out the wilderness, but mm -hmm. they died I'm gonna help you out. in the wilderness. I'm going to help you out. But, but, right? but, I, I, I kind of, I look, I see what he's saying, right? So let me help you out with this one. Here's a, here's a scripture that you probably can use, right? And, and we'll, we'll spot you what, with this one right well, here. Do you mind if I will hit this one? Then, then go ahead, the go ahead. Short, the go ahead. I'm going to help you out with this it's, one. Go ahead, okay, it's in Second Peter chapter 1. 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 14. All right, I'm with you. Because the, I just believe that when it comes to death, it's more than just us dying. Mm -hmm. And there's people that look like other nations that even die in the hospitals that he just said that he's the resurrection for. Mm -hmm. Everybody got to come up from the grave and report. Go ahead. Second Peter. All right, 2 Peter 1, verse, uh, let me start at 13. Thir go yes, in yes, at 14. Yes, sir. Yes, Wherefore, sir. gird up the loins of your mind be sober and hope to it, the end it, is that second peter I, I'm, I'm gonna start at 13. oh you said second oh yeah my, my apologies my, like you said second peter chapter 1 verse 13 then All i gotta right. catch a plane after i hear y'all response All I right, second peter 1 verse, verse 14. Right. it but says give me 13 for that too yes, okay that's fine it says yay i think it neat as long as I am in this tabernacle, in this what? To this, in this tabernacle, we all in this flesh and blood tabernacle. Go ahead. <laughs> to stir you up by putting you in remembrance, uh -huh. knowing that shortly I must put off this my tabernacle. Shortly I have to put off this physical flesh and blood. Go ahead. Right. Even as our Lord uh -oh. Jesus Christ uh -huh. has showed me. How did He show us how to put off this tabernacle when, when, no, when He came out the grave? He came but, out the grave. But what's the tabernacle? The tabernacle represents what's the, the body. body. What's the flesh of the That's body? That's the body. What is that? What is that? What does that represent the body? Like, do you think it's like I'm going to transform and have a different, like, physical, like, body, or is that a spiritual body we're talking about? Yeah, that, that, in other words, yes, that's a spiritual body. Well, you, you know how Moses' his face started. And his what, face started, so, but his body didn't finish. Right. So, what does the spiritual body represent? What is it? Rep if someone, what does it represent? Someone that does not die. No, brother, what I'm saying is, all right, so if I'm talking about a spiritual body, right? I'm talking about something that I, I'm, I'm, at one time I was in sin, right? right? And then I killed my mortal self, right, right, right. and I was Kill born that again, man. right? right? right. And then now I'm back and I'm in the right. spirit of the Lord. Right, right. Uh, uh, that, that's an excellent point. I agree that we have to slay that right. old man, right. but remember how Paul said, he said, I have to keep this body under subjection. That's after I preached unto others, I myself might be a castaway. Because okay. you can still get in the lake of fire after preaching to others. So the problem, the main problem that I have is the Lord said he will gather Israel, but in Exodus or Ezekiel chapter 20, he said, I will gather you from all the nations, from the people, and I will purge the rebels. Okay. So being 
called from south from captivity being brought into the land or brought into the wilderness to be dealt with by the lord face to face come under the, the uh, uh rod of covenant yep. does not guarantee that we won't die both the first and the second death okay so what, what does that have to do with the other nations getting salvation because that salvation that we, everyone trying to be saved from see we're trying to be rescued from another location of captivity Everyone's trying to be saved from death, even our grandma mind there. We want all of them to come back. Okay, so do so you saying that all the nations can be saved from death? Everyone is well, we, in uh, Revelation chapter 20, we see that death and hell is going to lay fire. I, I know what he's trying Everybody got to come back. And, and, and even when they come back, he says, Every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess. So every, so every nation going to come back? Well, everyone, everyone's coming out the grave. Everybody? Everybody coming out the grave. 1 Corinthians 15, he was trying to show you this. Last spot. 1 Corinthians 15. 1 Corinthians 15. Right, right. So, so, last spot. This is my last, last spot. But, okay, so when you say, right, they're going to be saved from death, because in a point, in a way, I do agree with that, right? But they're going to have to be saved from death by coming up under our rulership. They got to they come to get the word. Right, so, they'll, so they're going to have an option. They're either going to get down with us, right, and learn, but it's going to be in a time of judgment. It's not right now. Right, because your whole congregation is full of people that look like you. Yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. As anybody well, that don't look like you came under y'all yeah, because y'all yeah, were black. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. you're black. We Where are they at? I'm not saying they didn't, I'm just asking. Yeah, yeah. Yes, okay. we do have them. It's just that I'm not yeah, from from Rally. I'm okay. visiting from Baltimore. Okay. And we have them there, we have them in various locations. And they're under you, right? Hold on. They're under you because yeah. you're a black man. Not, they didn't just say, oh, you're black, I'm They so said, you gotta let them know that. Because I, I, I'm an Israelite, you gotta follow well, me because I'm, I'm Israel. I agree with but, the protocol. But, I, hold on, let me, let me go ahead, go ahead. I agree that the protocol exists. <laughs> but when they heard the words that came out my mouth, just like in Acts 13, they said, hold up. We want those same words spoken unto us the next Sabbath day. But the thing is, look, we're going to the point. So you said the salvation of the other nations is being saved from death. So you said death. every nation is getting resurrected after what? Everyone has to get resurrected. After what? After death. After death? After death. So every nation is getting resurrected after death. Everybody has to be resurrected from the grave because right. everybody has to get resurrected. All right, so, so hold what you got. Let me get Obadiah. Uh, hold uh, on. Say, Let me get Obadiah 1 and 15. Full disclosure, I only subscribe to the 66 books in the Bible. That's right. Full disclosure. Right. Okay. So, so, hold I, on. so I, you I'm don't believe in the apocalypse. I, I have, I have three. Okay. I just see where it's some confusion. Okay. Okay, we go we gonna go with the, Okay, we're gonna go into the Bible. Give me over okay. Diane 15. Okay. That's the problem, right? Real quick before you go, go ahead, go ahead. When you go into the apocrypha, you see where we became Gentiles. So that's the problem, that's the disconnect, that's the that's the stumbling block that y'all gotta get over is when did Israel literally become Gentiles and it was during the Maccabean era? So so I understand that the Maccabees, the Maccabean era existed and that was we can read down in history. Right. So I'm not discounting that that era didn't occur. All I'm saying that there's certain scriptures that I see that fight with this. Like, oh, so, so, okay, so, but hold on, let's get to that. So this is the thing. Yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't. Hold on, hold on, right on. yeah, because we can go into that too and prove to you how this uh, apocryphal, you know about the uh, 1611 King James Bible? I, I don't have, you know that? that I, I have, I, so, I don't right, it's in it's there. It's called the intertestamental rights. So, but this is the thing, so, so we can go into the scriptures and prove to you how this is uh, what they say, quote unquote, canon, right? Yeah. But we we go, we go, go to this point right here. So hold on, Obadiah 1 and 15. So you said everybody's going to be delivered from the grave, right? Everybody has to come out the grave in order to figure out what so you're going to do. So when, when, is, when is everybody going to be delivered out of the grave? You talk, what? According to Revelation chapter 20. So I'm asking you, what time period is this? That is after the back in the 1,000 year millennial reign. The 1,000 millennial reign of who? Of Israel. Of with Israel. Christ. With Christ? I, I, so we only go reign with Christ for a thousand no, years? No, no, no. That's like, that's like the, the, the thing that has the first core. That's mm -hmm. like first core. All right. So, 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 so even if you say that, so let, let's go, go to ahead, this go and, ahead, and let's ahead, see. Let, all right. So read that. All right. This is Obadiah 1 and 15. Read down to 18. For the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen. Uh -huh. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Right. Thy reward shall return upon thine own head. Mm -hmm. For as ye have drunk upon my holy mountain, mm -hmm. so shall all the heathen drink continually. Right. right. Yea, they shall drink, and they shall swallow down, uh -huh. and they shall be as though they had not been. But upon Mount Zion shall be delivered, right. and there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall, pos shall possess their possessions, right. and the house of Jacob shall be a flock. 
the house of Jacob shall be a fire, uh -huh. and the house of Joseph a flame, uh -huh. and the house of Esau for stubble. And the what? House of Esau for right. stubble. Right, so this is one of the nations, right? right. So this the house of Esau blood. for stubble, you know? Blood, right? And they shall kindle in them and devour them, mm -hmm. and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau. Why they gonna come back? There shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau. they gonna be Esau. resurrected. There shall not be any remaining of so the house of Esau. So they gonna come up out of the grave. There shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, uh, for the Lord has spoken. So, how, hold on. So, how is every nation going to be resurrected from the grave when these people are going to be exterminated from off the face of the earth? So, the Lord, so you telling me the Lord, hold on. So, you telling me the Lord is going to exterminate a whole race of people and then bring them back from out of the grave? First Corinthians, the 15th chapter, can we read? Let's go there. Go, but I'm, I'm asking you about this, though. So, uh, well, hey, bro, hey, I got to stay in the book too. Okay. So I, I, All right. can't, I can't jump out the book either. All right, so, got you. First Corinthians 15, what? First Corinthians 15. Now we we'll go ahead and pick it up. You mean second Corinthians? No, no, first. 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 Okay. Yep, yep. Uh, All right. First, go ahead and pick it up at verse 12. No, uh, give me verse 28. First, first Corinthians. Uh, 15 verse 28 uh -huh. and when all things shall be subdued unto him then shall the son also himself be subject unto him that put all things under him that God may be all in all so he's showing that he's showing Christ's resurrection right here but watch what verse 29 says okay verse 29 else what shall they do which are baptized for the dead because it was people that was saying that there is no resurrection and it's like well why are we getting baptized if we being baptized to dead people in other words christ resurrected but he is the first fruits what do we mean first of all are we talking vegetation the first one to come from the ground if he's the first that means they have to come afterward just like the, the first fruits the, brother, the, well, hold on, the, I, I, I don't know what you're saying hold on, but go ahead and finish 29 now okay verse 29. 29 if the dead rise not at all why are they then baptized for the dead? Right, now jump to verse 40. Verse okay. 40. Verse, verse 40. Yeah. There, all, there are also celestial bodies. Celestial bodies and what else? And bodies terrestrial. I got one of them right now, terrestrial. Go ahead. Who are the celestial bodies? Celestial bodies speaking about someone that gets that body that doesn't die. So are angels celestial as well? Angels are also celestial. Okay. Go ahead. Cool. But the glory of the celestial is one. That's different than what? And the glory of the terrestrial is another. That's different. When I get in the bathtub, I got a dirt ring. I don't have angel dust because I don't have a celestial body yet. <laughs> angel dust. <laughs> go ahead. I'm just, you know, I'll just keep it up. I'll keep it up. Yeah, you go. Go, you ahead, go ahead. What we at? Verse uh, uh, 41? Uh, yeah, uh, we, we have, we have uh, 41. Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, give me 42. 42. 42. <laughs> 42. Right. Okay, let me get 34. Awake, <laughs> awake to righteousness. Well, we, we understand that, right. but, can, but can I get 42? 42? But, but did you hear what he just said? I then? heard that, but we still read more book. I ain't gonna but but we got it. So we have to skip 32 and then jump down to 41, now, but 34. Now, so now y'all know that I don't like when Sunday preachers dance trying to pause right. So I right. can't do that well, either. brother, you but told can, me. Can we uh -oh. get 42? Can we get 42? But before 42 comes 34. Oh, man, grand. Can but, we get but look, before 42 comes 34. So yeah, let me get yeah. 34 and then we'll get 42. Fair enough. Awake to righteousness. What is righteousness? Keep the law of God. Okay. And sin not. Right. For some sin is breaking the law. Right. 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 For some have not the knowledge of God. Right. I speak this to your shame. Right. Now, let's jump down to 42. All I right. agree that we should be obedient. I agree. 42, 42 says, so also is the resurrection of the dead. Of the dead. Not just one dead. The dead. Everyone that has ever died has to be resurrected. Keep going. Well, hold on, brother. Why, why brother? Dead, yeah, what, why what makes, they, makes them dead? They're, they're, what makes them dead? They're, they're, this, they're, in other words, they actually died. Can I be? No, can I be physically alive and little and spiritually dead? So, so you're speaking of how sometimes they refer to them as the like the the Valley of dry bones, right? Yes, yes. I agree with that premise. Okay. But that's, I'm just showing that that's but how. But get in the context. Well, well, yeah. Look, the so, context so, is so, talking about the I want to show where we agree. I agree that someone could be walking around spiritually dead, but walking around because he said, "Let the dead bury the dead." I agree with that. Right. But I'm just saying that this right here is someone that physically decomposed rigor mortis. Brother, again, 34. This is why 34. This is why 34 is important. It says, "Oh wait." But you brother, that one. I heard you read but that. brother, this is the context. I heard that, but can the we context read? is talking about can, we, can I go from being a lawbreaker to keeping I, the law? I agree with that. So that's what it get, means to be dead. But can we please okay. don't hold the scriptures from me? Okay, I got you. I just want to make sure we had that on record. 
Verse 40 what? 42. 42. So also is the resurrection of the day. Uh-huh. It is sown in corruption. It is sown. Sown? In corruption. If I was what to is sow corruption? a seed, if I sow a seed, where do I put it? What Somebody that decomposes. Brother, that's not corruption. That right. is corruption. Yes. So, so if I go, so, so, watch, watch this. Can I get a mic? I'm losing my voice trying to over talk, trying to keep up. Well, you, 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 in, in, 40, in, in 42. You're saying 42. corruption is me decomposing. Yes. So now, watch this. Watch this. Well, if you read Isaiah 16, who did not decompose in the grave according to promise? That's a whole different context, brother. So, the context so in 34 read, is telling you read. that it's talking about the law. No, no, no. I understand that the, the commandments. The are law there, makes you dead or alive, right? Watch what verse 42 said. All right. I'll read it again. So also is the resurrection they of they the day. No, no. I just want to make sure that we had the, uh, you know, I heard your point of view. Right. It is sown in corruption. Sown in corruption. I put seeds in the ground. Go ahead. It is raised in incorruption. It comes up from the ground. Go ahead. It is sown in dishonor. It goes down in dishonor. So is dishonor also decomposing? Dishonor is dead. Is dead. We it's have been dead. dishonored since we have been dying since the Garden of Eden. But, but keep going. Keep going. Keep okay. going. Keep All right. Going. All right. For, for the sake of it. It is raised in glory. It's raised in glory. So is that being physically alive no. again? That is coming to life. How? Because Daniel chapter 12 said, those that be wise and turn many into righteousness shall shine as the brightness of the firmament. And how do you shine? By coming under the commandments of God. And that's the light, right? But that also... Okay, so you, you, you can just say what we yeah, say. Well, I agree. No, he made our point. Right. So, so this is what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? I don't push this obedience. Let me finish this out. Y'all know I don't push this obedience. I'll finish this out for you. Okay. It is sown in dishonor. Right. It is raised in glory. Right. It is sown in weakness. Right. It is raised in power. Now, when Jesus came up from the grave, did he have all power? Verse 43. 43. 44, 44, 44. 44. It is sown a natural body. We all have natural bodies. It is a ra it is raised a spiritual, spiritual. body. It's raised out of spiritual body. Go ahead. What is spiritual? Hold on. What does it mean to be spiritual? <laughs> Brother. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Just, um, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're making a point. Bro. Right. Yeah. What does it mean to be spiritual, brother? What, what, what is spiritual? We can read in Romans 11. What is spiritual? We can, we can read in Romans 11. Brother, what does it mean to be spiritual? Give me that. Give me that. So we gonna show you. Look, 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 we know that. The, hold on, but I got you. For we know. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's good. Hold on. We gonna go right back. We gonna go right back. It says, "For we know that the law is spiritual." Right. But, but, so there you go. Right. So, so to be spiritual means you must be obedient to the law, right? Three. All right. Natural. So now let's go back to what you're saying, right? Yes, sir. 44. 44. It is sown a natural body. It is raised a spiritual body. Right. There is a natural body. Yep. And there is a spiritual keep going, body. Keep going. And so it is written, the first man, Adam, was what? Was made a living soul. He was made a living soul. Huh. Now, a soul is the body. He came from the dirt. He made him from the ground. We can that go into a whole the, different breakdown. Wait, 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 wait. Keep going, keep uh, the last Adam was made a quickening spirit. Who was made the quickening spirit? Christ. Yes, we we agree. We, 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 we understand. Hold on, I got this. I got this. I got this. Man, it's one against seven. I got it. So, brother, we're not against you, though, brother. We're not against you. Yeah, we're not against you. Right, we're not against you, brother. Y'all got the mics, the speakers, the tables. All I got is the words. Here's the problem, though. You're saying you're against us. No, 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 not against. I'm just saying, like, there's two perfect. Perspective being put on the table. And my voice will go so long. Brother, don't the scripture say precept got to be a part of precept? And a lot of So that's what we do. We got to. We can't just read through and be like, oh, yeah, you have to go precept with Paul Precept to break this down. I'm trying to get here after that Isaiah 25. I was trying to get here. We just now getting here. Right, right. So we go ahead. All right, verse 46. How be it that was not first, which is spiritual, but that which is natural. You don't get the spiritual body first. You got to get the natural body first. Go ahead. Come. And afterward, that which is spiritual. Afterwards, you get the spiritual. Now, verse 48. What does that mean? Who wants to read the whole chapter? I'm going to read to you. I want the. You don't understand what you read. Right, right, right. All I'm saying is I want the context down before we got here. Okay. This is just saying that. We're getting to it. This is supporting the context that I'll point out in the first place. This is what I'm saying. This is read through. We're going to have film breaking down. We're going to have film breaking down. I appreciate it. The first man is of the earth. What does it mean to be in the earth? You coming from the dirt. We all came from the dirt. Earthy. Earthy. All right. The second man <laughs> is the Lord from heaven. Go ahead. As is the earthy, such are they also that are earthy. Oh, I'm earthy. 
See, I go back to the, so if my dead body was here and I decomposed and my brain liquefies, I go back to the earth. According to your word corruption, that means decomposing? Yeah, even decomposing. But even the uh, Genesis 3 said, For from dust thou art, and unto dust shalt thou return. Okay. Go ahead. All right. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, where are we at? Verse 48. Okay. You know, verse 40, as is the earthly, such are they also that are earthy. Right. And as is the heavenly, such are they also that are heavenly. That's right. Now watch this verse 50. Verse 50. 50. 50. All right, 50 is where we at. Okay. Now this I say, brethren, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of heaven inherit, of God. I can't inherit the kingdom still being flesh and blood. So where did Enoch go? So, and so in the far as Enoch, he's still around. Where's he at? What you mean he's still around? He didn't walk with so, God? So, so watch this. Yeah, he walked with God. What about, what about Elijah? Years. So Elijah says he went up to heaven, but he went somewhere else on earth. That's why he was still writing letters in First Chronicles 21. First Chronicles? Around First Chronicles 21. Okay, so Elijah but, but, let... But, hold, hold on. Make sure... Hold on. I'm not... I, I got my hand right here. Man. I got my hand right here. But what does that do with... What does that have to do with the heathen? I got to make sure I'm hearing this right. I got to make sure I'm hearing this right. You're saying Elijah went up into the Most High's realm in heaven. No, 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 no. There's three heavens. The book shows Okay, I get that. I got that. He went to the second heaven. That's why when I leave here, I got to go to the second heaven go lay. Where is, Back that in where is that at? It's the sky. If it, soon you come off the ground. So hold on. You said Elijah went. He, where did, you said where did Elijah go? Where did he went to the second heaven? Hold on. Hold on, brother. Hold on, brother. Give me first Maccabees. No, no, that's give me not first Maccabees. No, no, give me first Maccabees two and fifty eight. Hold on, hold on, brother. Hold on. This is the, so for, yo, your point was you was trying to say that he just. Hold on. You was trying to say every nation. Is gonna be resurrected. That had nothing to do with every nation, brother. That brother, that had nothing to do with every nation. Give me that, brother. You gotta let me finish. Yeah, hold on. Let me finish. Let me let me finish this picture. Now, well, I'm losing my voice. That's why I only have so much. Okay. It says. It says. Right. You need a you you need a water, brother. Please, please. Uh, oh, it's hot. Oh, okay. It says, now this I say, brother, and young man, that's a grand. Uh, uh, that blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. So that's what, all, this is all I'm saying. Uh -huh. That if I'm still flesh and blood, I can't fully inherit that kingdom. Go ahead. Neither does corruption. Right. Now, I believe that this will be in the thing that you I'm saying that everybody, including us, that's righteous, get a new body to go with this. Now look at verse 51. 51, yes, yes sir. I show you a, a mystery. mystery. So this is a mystery. That's why I'm trying to bring it up. And out. this is the mystery that you're stumbling on, that you're thinking this is physical. Mm -hmm. But what we're saying is this church. I, I agree in allegories. I agree in parables and allegories. Go ahead. Right. They go into us being obedient or disobedient. Real quick. Because please, please, we all understand drink. you can't go into the kingdom of heaven being a disobedient person. <laughs> that's what it means to be corrupted. Do you mean kingdom of heaven like we, we go up there? To, no, no, you want to, to the okay, okay. Earth, okay, okay. You can't inherit the kingdom. We went through Isaiah 60, 60 Isaiah 61. Yep. We went to us having rulership. We showed that. You can't have that bullshit right. without us being corrupt. Meaning, we can't be a lawbreaker. You can't be up here breaking the commandments right. and then have the kingdom of heaven. That's, what, that's, that's our entry. That I have. agree. I agree that. You're looking that that's why I tell people keep the commandments, keep the feast days, keep the Sabbath day. I agree. But then when you go into, when you say production, you say production is decomposition. That's not corruption. We look at corruption as being a disobedient Okay. So, so, so I agree that there are two different perspectives on this. But so what I, all I'm doing is mm -hmm. I'm breaking down mm -hmm. from the from where I'm reading this. I am reading this literally. Mm -hmm. So I, I, all I'm trying to do is just tie together my point of why I believe that this is literal, mm -hmm. because I believe that everybody has to. We all die. You know. Mm -hmm. they, you know how they say about us. All I gotta do is stay black and die. All right. You got the black part covered. Okay. There's another part coming. But but the thing is, how does that include every nation? Because you think you said everybody dies, but that context that we read doesn't involve every nation. Okay, and that's why I'm just trying to read towards mm -hmm. the end of this. this. This is my last. Point. But do you understand that that that, I, I, that doesn't involve I, every nation? I understand your perspective. But I'm showing you. Where but no, it's, that's where it's not my it. perspective. That's in the context that doesn't that doesn't, that doesn't have nothing to do with every nation in that context. It's simple as that. I consider myself. Alive, I haven't died the first death. Well, I do believe in keeping the well, But this is the thing, you 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 might keep I some just, of the well, commandments. I'm, I'm, but saying, I'm saying I don't you know I do keep it, believe in keeping the law. Okay. And, and such and so. Okay, so but, but, but 
I just, I just want to finish out just this one little piece. I, I'm on the back Wait, end. Wait, in the same scripture? Yeah, we're in the same spot, same spot. All right, same. you want to finish that up? Be because the reason why it's so important to me, because he said this is a mystery. In other words, everybody don't see this. Mm -hmm. And I have the best expectations for Israel because mm -hmm. the Lord gave them eyes to see something. But can we establish that, 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 that this in this context, this has nothing to do with the other nations? And, and this is where we're going to disagree a little bit on when oh. I get towards the end of this. That's okay, all, all right, let's listen. All right, verse 51. All right, verse 51. Well, it says, Behold, I show you a mystery. Right. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. So we all not going to sleep. That means first death, but we all going to be changed. So you think that all is talking about every everybody on the earth? Meaning everybody. If, so the people that's even going to like fire. So first off, who was Paul talking to in this book? So well, he said, oh, is he talking to everybody on the planet Earth? He is writing clearly to the Corinthians. Okay, who were the Corinthians? And we understand that the, that there were even some Israelites scattered in that land. But I'm who, not, but who were not, the Corinthians not, that he's writing to? We, we, we miss the, the point of what... Uh, we're, no, we're, it's not because you... Brother, you said that every our, nation in is, is involved in this. Right now, where we're at, right, right now, is between is this physical or metaphysical or spiritual? But even if... What I'm saying is... I'm you said that every nation is included in this. What I'm trying to show is this thing that is pointing to the scriptures. Mm -hmm. okay. What is that? Say that. Say that. But does every does, does this have to include every nation? All right, listen, 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 listen. I mean, y'all didn't hit me up in this one chapter long right, listen, the whole listen, listen, conversation. Listen, listen. That's all, that's all we do. I mean, right, we, we trying, we just trying to get a, yeah, we, we trying to get an right. understanding. Right. So y'all, y'all right. hold me to the book. I just say if, if I have to be held to the book, which I agree mm -hmm. with, mm -hmm. just let me get the words out. All right, that's all. Mm -hmm. All right, it says in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye. At the last trump. Which trump? The last trump. We all should know what the trump is pointing to. The trump is pointing to the gathering of the people. The trump is pointing to the uh, 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 the new king showing up. The trump is pointing to many different things as far as Israel. So we should understand that. At the last trump, that means the seventh trumpet, go ahead. Mm -hmm. For the trumpet shall sound, uh -huh. and the dead shall be raised incorruptible. Right. And we shall be changed. And we shall be changed. I agree. Everybody got to get a change. That doesn't mean everybody get the, the change to get in the kingdom. The people that's going to lake a fire got to get a change but, too. But what I'm saying is Paul's writing and living. So, hold on. Okay. Before the first day coming. Well, that's good though, brother. We, you know, like you said, we, we love to build. build. Yeah, we love it. Uh, uh, yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, this corruptible must put on incorruption. Right. And this mortal must put on immortality. Now, I grew up playing Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter. But those is meant about, hey, these are men fighting. But, but we have to put on immortality. Now, watch this. Watch this. Uh, verse 54. All right, verse 54. Right, then it says, so when this, so when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then, then shall, I love that verse. It says, then shall what? Go then ahead. shall be brought to pass the saying that it is written, death is swallowed up in victory. Ah, uh, then it's going to be brought to pass when that happens. But go ahead. You going to break that down or what? Yeah, in other words, that's showing that the, everyone has to come back from the grave because he's getting rid of death. Death was a glitch in the creation. That wasn't meant to, you know, they, people say, well, death is a part of life. No, it wasn't. We had life in the garden. What is death? Death what, is what, what dying. Causes death? What causes death? Sin, right? We agree with that. I agree with that. Right, right, right. Right, right, right. I agree with that. Big facts. Big facts. He said, he said, what? Choose life and, and, and live. And death and people, right? right? I said so before you, life and death this day, choose you, life and, and live. What is that? What is, what is he giving us? So I, I. The law. I agree with the command. You, you know, so I'm not so, kicking so against the law. Y'all repeat that? You know, so we're saying you can live and be 
spiritual day. Mm -hmm. Yes, I agree with that. I agree. So our, 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 our mindset on death and immortality is us and people wrong and those that don't be. So like Jay-Z is okay. spiritually dead. Right. Got you, got you, got you. So he's living his life. Right, right, right. But I think it also says like like a woman that's caught up in like a uh, uh, pleasure or lust or something like that is dead while she yet living. Why? I because agree. She's in I agree with that. Whore, right? Yeah, right. We agree right. with that. I, I'm not taking it off the table. Did, did you finish that? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, so uh, I think you, you finished that verse 54, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna stop there. But all I'm gonna say is in verse 54, verse 54 that we read here was connected to Isaiah 25 and 8. So go back and read Isaiah 25, 8 that we read earlier. Because because he gonna, he said he gonna get rid of death and mm -hmm. destroy the curvy cast over all people mm -hmm. and death shall be swallowed up or it's gonna be but, done away with. But still, how, how does that include? I'm trying to figure out how does that include all nations. Ex excellent question. He's saying everybody that's rising up is gonna have incorruptible bodies, so they're going to be uh, essentially a part of the the second resurrection or the first resurrection, right? For first or second? They're going to be they're going to be second. resurrected because okay. Okay. they're in the grave, right? Physically. Right, but so we don't look at it like I uh, understand right? that, we but I'm, I'm at least glad you can break it down what I'm, what I'm trying yeah, to we say. We can do that, right? right? But that's what he's saying. So he's trying to make all nations a part of this mm -hmm. uh, 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 rising. But it, what well, I'm well, saying, I'm even saying in the context, well, this this context is not even based off one, our nations. Uh, one little, one little thing. Who is Paul's epistles to? Uh, that's what, I'm well, that's what I'm saying. Right, right. Like they, can I read Yes, I, I've heard that argument, but the it's, but the so he, 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 he grabbed he grabbed a, 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 he he expounded my point of view. I just want to add one okay, little let's, aspect. Uh, let's no, 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 I know we 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 got reading. I appreciate yeah. it. The one little aspect I'm saying is that even though everyone may come from the grave, does not guarantee that they going in the kingdom. Some people coming out the grave and going in the fire. So oh, it, who constitutes them going into the fire? Either keeping the commandments or breaking his commandments. Who were the commandments given? It was given to it, it, it was given to Israel. But if I read Deuteronomy 31, he says, "Grab even the strangers that's among you and make them hear this law." It was a commandment to Moses. Because they was, if you're gonna hold, hang on to Israel, if I go, hey, I'm gonna hold the skirt of him that's a Jew. I need to be listening to what God told you to do. But now, when they're talking about strangers, right? When it's, so there, that's why we, we now, I never got a chance to read Exodus 12. When he said, if you want to be one that's born in the land, he told them, get rid of that foreskin. You don't touch the pastor unless you, why you got that turtleneck on. So we was told, when he said, then he shall you be as one in the land. Yes. If I was born in Moab, if I was born in the nation, right. I'm not a uh, uh, part of the government of Israel. I'm an Israelite by blood, right. but I'm not. I'm uh, not yeah, yeah, uh, so big if facts, I'm born, big facts. If big I'm facts. born in the land, big facts. I'm actually better than the Israelite that's born outside the so, land. So I agree that, hey, because I, I was born Thank in the U.S. Right. I was born in Michigan. Right. Right. But, but the thing right. is, we know that in Isaiah chapter 9 it says, that for unto us, unto us a son is born, a child is given, wonderful, called wonderful counsel, the mighty God, and upon him shall be the government. So when the government does come, that at that time you can step in because you've been following from the from the from the onset. Okay. But but I'll let y'all get one more. What time is it? Stop fighting. I got I got I am. I gotta fly back, boss. Go ahead, boss. First Corinthians chapter one, verse one. Paul called to be an apostle of Jesus Christ right. through the will of God right. and soothness our brother right. unto the church of God right. which is at Corinth to them that right. are sanctified uh -huh. in Christ. Sanctified apart. Israel has always been sanctified by his word. And if I go this way, all Paul's letters say to the church. Do you break the word church? Yeah, that, that, that's congregation. Who lives in the synagogue? It, Israel was called the congregation so in Exodus chapter 12. All Paul's letters go right and get into the synagogue in Corinth, in Galatia. Right. So it's a, it's a, that's uh, why they was keeping the Sabbath. Give me John. Right, give me, right, right, give me, give me John eighteen and twenty. Hey, I do got a jet set, boss man. I got playing at seven something. They say it's already six twenty four. I don't know. Hey, real quick, don't look at yourself. Got real deep, like I said, because it, it's some stuff here. But you know, you may just have to walk down the other perspective. Go ahead, boss. I'll let you go ahead. Keep, 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 keep.
Alright, team. Right. Right. My man, how you doing? Go ahead, go ahead, boss. Right, I know I'm a only, only y'all, you know, y'all space. I'm trying to be respectful, boss, man. All right, young lion. All right, man. All right, brother. All right, brother. Real quick. So, hey, uh, brother, you said Jared, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, brother Jared. Yes, sir. So here's what you was trying uh, to say. Go ahead. Here's a scripture you can use to prove what you were saying. Go ahead. All right, it's Jeremiah 12 okay. and 14. Uh huh. Down to 17. Okay. Thus said the Lord, right. against all my evil neighbors oh, yeah. that touch the inheritance oh, which I have caused my people Israel to inherit. Right. They're going to pay for that. Behold, I will pluck them out of their land. Right. And Put out the house of Judah from among them. Uh -huh. Verse 15. And it shall come to pass. That I have put them out. It says, then shall they be built in the midst of my people. Right. So they're going to be able to have to literally get down right. later. Tell them don't eat, hey, eat clean, get rid of all that other stuff. All Same thing. But right. then it says, verse 17, here's the kicker. It says, but if they will not obey, I will utterly put up and destroy the right. nation, right. said the Lord. Right. So essentially, they're going to have to learn from us if they don't learn from us. They're not even going to get no right. They're not getting no That's rain. Good. They're not going to be able to have nothing, right? They're going to die. Right. So they're going to leave to get down with us, and we're going to teach them. We're going to give them the laws. So, so, and all I'm saying is that's and, the people that didn't make the and, 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 and right. another thing, when I, when I, no, 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 this is the people that I'm saying, I'm saying, right, 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 they're going to beg to come and be uh, servants and handmaids, right? Because I don't want to. And, and, and this is okay. the thing, so if you believe what we read in, in uh, what was that, Peter? If you believe that every nation, if that's talking about everybody in the grave and they're going to be resurrected, where are they going to go after that? So if, they, if everybody get a spiritual body, where are they going after they get that spiritual body? Are you saying they, everybody's going to the third heaven? Are you saying everybody going to be ruling on earth? No, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. So, in other words, if they come up in the first resurrection, mm -hmm. those are the ones that get ruled. Shit. Okay. But those that come up in the second resurrection, because it tells you in Revelation 20, they should reign, rule and reign with Christ for a thousand years. They come up in the second resurrection, mm -hmm. ain't no reign. It's just, hey, you either going to smoke or not smoke. Yes. Why don't y'all wait for you? It's because we believe that according to John chapter 14, verse 26, he said, I'm going to bring, uh, uh, put my laws in your uh, inward heart and put my commandments in your heart. So you notice how we came out building, right? Uh -huh. And you notice how I had no problem. What does that mean? Coming out building. No, no, no. I'm talking about what? You know where it's going to be. So we're going to put the law on our mind. Yeah. Correct. So you take the fringes off. Why? So because, so my wife said, Jared, can you go to the grocery store? And I would tie a ribbon around my fingers. Remember, okay, I got to go get milk and cheese and eggs. It was a visual cue. In, in this book I have right here, my, 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 my sword, my sword, my, hold on, hold on. And my sword, these are visual cues. They nothing written on it. I can't read anything on it. I can't say what oh Ezekiel 3. I can't I can't read nothing. It's a visual cue. So 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 you notice the whole time that we was building, I not not even one time had to go look somewhere because I was running the scriptures off my mind. Or I'll say this, no, 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 saying like by heart. I'm just saying that it comes to your mind quicker. Now y'all notice, y'all notice real quick. Y'all notice, just like when we used to watch Rap City and everything, you know, when we was all in the world. You know how someone would say, oh man, he coming off the top of the dome with it. Hold he on. freestyle, he coming off the head with it, and it's hitting. So That's what I was let, doing with y'all today. So That's let me, let me ask you something. So you said you don't believe that because in John, you said in John 14 and 26, yes. it says that the law is going to be written in our inward part. No, no, so that, 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 that's Jeremiah 31. Right, so Jeremiah 31. Is, is, the, is, the, is the law written in your in, 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 in inward parts right now? Is that is that applied to today? Yes, I, yes. In that law, some people don't think we're in a new covenant. I believe we're in a new covenant. You believe so? Yes. Can you teach? Yes. Okay. So but but it's just letting you know. I, I know, I know, I know. I, I know, trust me, I know I, I'm very well aware of this point of view. So if I have to see 
sit here and just sit and run down. Oh, thou shalt not steal. So if I run down, thou shalt not steal. Brother, 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 hold on, brother. How are we in the new covenant when we still in captivity, bro? Because the new covenant, it didn't say that the new covenant comes about when you're pulled out of captivity. Yeah, let's, let's do this. Y'all got, got the info. Reach out. Okay, because we made it a part okay, of it. I don't believe in running. You know what I'm saying? I, I, you know, y'all know, I don't believe, I don't believe in running. Everybody your congregation know the law. Yeah, that's the reason. They all know the law. So, 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 and I'll walk down what that means when it says, they shall teach this man no more, saying, no, the Lord, I know what that's talking about. Look, 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 the boss, the boss man, boss man. You're going to have to hit a part two of it. If I didn't have a catch up. When, when the next time you come to Raleigh? Hold on, when the next time you come to Okay, that's cool. Okay, I got, yeah, that's I got cool. no boss, man. All right, now. All right, all right, all right, all right bro. I got you, man. Hey, hey, I, I, I shoot right, an email. All right, man. I shoot an email. All right, bro. All right, man. Yeah, where's the night? Yeah, right, where's the cool in the night? Hey, they got to keep the commandments, man. So, hey, keep doing your thing. They got to keep the commandments. All right, and I'll show you what that is. Because that's why when we came out of Egypt, we didn't have it. But we were, when we eat the quails, we didn't have it. And he's... And until you see when he came out the grave, you don't see nothing on him. But Christ was right? Right, so that's why I said we can walk this down, boss. So he said yes. Now I say it. Christ was friends. And then now we say under the new covenant, which is in that case, it's up here. So this whole time we'll I've been, about it. this whole time I've been up here, I was coming off the dog and rage, dog and rage, dog and rage, dog and rage. That's all. Right. 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 Hey, 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 buddy, hey, buddy, you gonna be uh, available this this is Wednesday night? You can hop on the uh, video call with us. All right, we're going to set it up. We, we got your info. We're going to set you up, all right? All right, baby. All right, pray. Yeah, all right, pray. All right, let me get, uh, somebody give me, somebody give me Matthew 4 and 17. We're going to close it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, come, most definitely, come. Let me get, come, come. Somebody give me Matthew 4 and 17 real quick so we close it up. Yeah, come, come. All right, Matthew 4. All right, verse 17. Uh -huh. Look, he put, brother. Oh, yo. Oh, man, yeah, we go, we go. Tell you trying to say Yeah, yeah, yeah we, we can't, we can't deal with that. Yeah, we. Hey, talk about, hey, what did Hello? Christ say about praying in public? It says, yeah. don't pray in public. Yeah, we ain't, we ain't doing it. Of course, Esau want to pray in public. Yeah, somebody read Matthew 4, 17 so I can get out of here. All right, this is Matthew 4, 17. Uh, it says, from that time, Yahweh side began to preach. Right. Do what? Repent. Do what? Repent. Right. For the, for the what? For the what? For the right. Is that what? Is that what? Right. So like we tell you week in and week out, right? The kingdom of heaven is at hand for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. If you didn't know, you're living in the last days. If you want to escape the death, destruction, the famine, and the pestilence that's coming to the earth, you got to come back to the Lord. You got to repent. You got to keep his law, statutes, and commandments, man. But with that, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Yahweh, Shah, and Shalom. 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 Shalom